guys can't. You can't get me. Best acceptance speech ever? Hello, everybody. So every year, my goal is to get off the stage as quick as possible. So uh, thank you guys for coming. 26th annual Nora Cup Awards. Uh, it's kind of weird because Nora Cup was started in 1979, so it kind of adds up to about 40 Nora Cups. Uh, it obviously has a very weird history going from like BMX Action, Go Days, Ride BMX, and now we are doing it. So uh, it continues to be the most important thing that I work on every year. So I appreciate all the sponsors, uh, all you guys for coming. And without further ado, I would like cheers, to present the host for this year's Nora Cup Awards. He has very, very nice hair, great 360 inverts, and he's horrible at live streams. Uh, let's play the little video. That's a little bit better. Am I too loud? Am I good? Holy shit, there's Kevin Peraza right there. There's Devin Smiley. Oh my gosh, look at all these faces up here looking at me. Uh, you know, thank you so much, Fudger, for that uh, lovely introduction. Uh, when you take 20 plus years of professional riding and you boil it down to 20, or I'm sorry, to 10 or 15 clips, uh, it actually looks pretty impressive. So thank you so much for doing that. Um, a big shout out to the BMXers for being gentlemen. They gave Linda Grabner a seat right here. She's got a bum leg right now, so we've come a long way, guys. <laughs> uh, it's a beautiful thing. Welcome, Linda. Welcome to the Nora Cup. Uh, you got the front row seat right there. Um, and I promise I, I, that's the last I'll talk about you this evening, maybe. So uh, we're here at the, the Nora Cup. Before we get started, we got to give a big shout out to the Source BMX. Once again, putting on a Battle of Hastings event that went OFF off. Get loud for those guys. Let them hear you. Let them know it means something. Tom Creasy, don't, don't you just walk away. Tom Creasy's a big reason why we're all here. Mark Moore, Rich Moore, and just the, the countless individuals that work tirelessly to make sure that we have an event like this, a core event that brings us all together and really celebrates what we love so much about BMX. So uh, if you see Mark or Rich or Creasy or anybody that works for The Source, buy him a drink, give him a handshake, give him a hug. Let them know what it means to you. Uh, on a personal note, I'm gonna give a shout out to my brother who came to this event this weekend. The dude that taught me how to ride a bike, took the training wheels off my bike, so thank you, Brian, for being here. This is what your brother's been up to for the last 20 years. <laughs> So we're gonna get right into it. It's time to present some awards. Um, now this, like I said before, this is the, what, 26th, 38th, 69th year of Nora Cup. We got a lot of awards to give out. Eight different categories ranging from women's to transition to uh, reader's choice. I mean, we got a lot of stuff to give out, so we're gonna try to rifle through it pretty quick, but also have some fun while we do it. And um, yeah, let's get rolling. The first award of the night. Who's ready for the first award of the night?
Let's get into it. Yeah, stop talking, Doyle. Let's do it. The first award uh, presenter is me. Sorry. I know. <laughs> oh, sorry, Boyd. I hope. <laughs> Let's do it. Reader's Choice Award. In my humble opinion, I think this might be, I'm surprised this is first. I would put this last because this is really who shredded the hardest in 2022. It doesn't matter what you rode, be it Flatland, be it Transition, be it Trails. This is the person that went the hardest all year. It's voted on by people that aren't pros. I mean, all, the, all of these Nora Cup awards were voted on, on by the pros, but this is the Reader's Choice Award. Who went the hardest? Let's take a look at the nominees for the 2022 Reader's Choice Awards for Nora Cup. love you boys <laughs> uh, this feels just as surreal as the first one I'm fucking speechless I'm thankful for everyone that supports me and it's just into what I'm doing so yeah thanks to everyone for voting I'm fucking hyped
man. Let's put this in here. Put this in there. Thank you so much. Congratulations. One more time for Felix Prangenberg right there. Okay, like I said, that's Reader's Choice Award. In my opinion, I think that's the most important one because that's voted upon by the fans, right? They're not the pros. Who cares what the pros think? That's all about the fans, and they voted that Felix Prangenberg is the Nora Cup Reader's Choice of the war of, of the year. One more time for Felix Prangenberg. Okay, all right, moving right along. We're gonna keep it flowing right now. The next award is Transition Rider of the Year. We have a very special presenter, UK legend. I didn't know who this guy was until I watched Road Fools Europe. Anyone out there seen Road Fools Europe? Okay, here we go. Well, okay, so this guy put his stylist touch on early pipeline events, 900 attempts way back before anyone was thinking there. But in Road Fools Europe, Ian Morris mentions this guy's name. Ruben Alacantara. That's not who it is. Ruben Alacantara does a 540 wall ride at a skate park in Europe somewhere. And Ian Morris goes, well, the first time I saw that was this guy. Thank you. Right, that's me being old school. And um, right, who am I nominating? That's it? That's it? No, 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 you're good. You should say whatever you want to say. That's kind of it. I thought I was just going to do the nominations. <laughs> no, you think, hey, and it's on Josh right now. Just say hello. Sorry, I'm getting this all wrong. I don't know. Hit the fucking button, Josh. Transition rider at the end.
have to talk. Is this thing on? <laughs> this is uh, pretty special, man. BMX got me out of the hood and uh, doing something I love. I, I, don't, I, I, don't know, I don't know what to say, to be honest. The incredible amount of riding that happens, transition street, dirt, flat, vert, you name it, man. It's it's what keeps me going. Today was, today was special in general. No, no one's injured, we're all good. I, I, don't know, I don't know what to say, this is crazy. I can't believe it, man. <laughs> thank you, thank you to, to everyone that, that rides BMX and that keeps the next generation inspired to make BMX grow and live forever. So thank you, our BMX, thank you guys. <laughs> One, two. I love this shit. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> One more time for Kevin Peraza, Transition Rider of the Year. If you were present at Battle of Hastings, you know that that's a no-brainer right there. Yo, Josh Dove, are you in the room tonight? I know you're a little bit young. Yeah, Josh, hey, hang in there, dude. I know you're up for like every category, but hang in there. You, you're gonna win a lot of these things someday, so I don't know when, but dude, we saw that shit tonight. Yeah, he's only 12 years old, for God's sakes. Hey, try winning one of these things when Nyquist is in, your prime, is in their prime, when Bowen's in their prime, when Aiken's in his prime. Hang in there, you'll be just fine. That, yeah, that's from the heart right there. Next up. Next up. Oh. KP, man, you look good in those pinstripes, I must say. And he absolutely crushed it today. But up next is women's. Women's Rider of the Year. Really looking forward to this one tonight. Uh, our next presenter, somebody that's not really comfortable in front of the cameras, not really comfortable in the limelight, but she's an Olympic judge. She's a photographer. She's a journalist. She's a rider. She's pushing women's BMX just as hard as anybody else out there. Let's take a look at who I'm talking about.
Guys, get loud for Christy Hughes, please. Hello. Well, I'm totally humbled to be here in a room full of idols and legends, people I look up to and people I occasionally work with. But anyway, let's get back onto it. What an amazing year for women's BMX. What a, what a privilege it is to be part of the industry and being able to be, ex, um, experience everything that I do every day and actually see the women's BMX develop over the years. It's a big shout out, I've got to say, to the Bloom BX and a few other, um, you know, people to support women's BMX as well they do. Is it not loud enough? Can you hear me now? Yeah. Hey. The restart, oh, I've got to restart it again. Brilliant. Okay, I was, what I was saying is it's been an amazing year for women's BMX. We've seen it develop amazingly. We've seen the boundaries push ever so far and everybody that's been nominated have really pushed the boundaries of women's BMX and it's been absolutely a privilege to be able to judge them and actually see it develop as well as it has. But anyway, the following are the nominees. Won it. So the winner is Linda Grubner. Get loud for Linda right there, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. 
And Linda, I just want to make sure that you know this real quick. I have a five-year-old daughter, and we watched the Waffle Cup together. And she, she loved watching all of the women do their thing. And my daughter asked me, Dad, do you think I'll be able to do that someday? And I said, yes, absolutely. So Linda, I got to say one more time, thank you for being a good role model for all the women out there, all the girls out there. You're making a huge difference in this sport right now. Get loud one more time for Linda Grabner. How does it feel to be surrounded by so many gentlemen tonight? Wow. 20 years ago, this, this party would have looked a lot different. So I'm, I'm proud of how far we've all come. So next rider, next presenter, next category. Get it together, Doyle. Next category. Street. Street rider of the motherfucking year. Things are about to get real crazy up in here. And for our presenter, coming out of Sheffield, the steel city of England, one of your own, Voices. Tomorrow we work. You guys know who I'm talking about. Let's check him out right here. Enough. Thank you so much. Some of you might remember me from uh, such uh, influential street riding videos as uh, Voices. And, uh, well, yeah, that's about it. It was Voices. Anyway, apparently I did enough uh, to be invited to present one of these awards. And it's a huge honor to do so. Uh, so without further ado, here are your nominations.
the Nora Krupp Street Rider of the Year 2022, Felix Pangenberg. This is fucking insane. <laughs> second time in the uh, second time in a row. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Thanks everyone. This is I don't have any words for this. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck guys. Right. Thank you. One more time for Felix Prangenberg. That's his second Nora Cup of the night. Fourth all around. Cup after cup after cup. Make a little bit more space on that mantle, Felix. And he's just getting started. Did he win Trail Rider of the Year, too? Okay. <laughs> oh, man. How hard did Felix kill it today at Battle of Hastings as well? I mean, my goodness. Just unfair. It's unfair how good some of you guys actually are. Me and Trey were sitting in our little cubby hole doing the commentating today and just minds blown all over the place. So one more time for Felix Prangenberg. <laughs> Up next. And keep in mind, I don't know what's coming next. I'm just going off my cars. I'm completely unprepared. Hopefully I'm doing okay. And hopefully you guys are hanging in there tonight. I appreciate everyone being here once again. But up next is Flatland Rider of the Year. And before I announce the presenter, get loud for Flatland. Making a bit of a comeback this year back on the world stage. We had it on ESPN. My friends and family all got to see it. We got to see heroes. We got to see Matias Dandois. We got to see Kiyo Hayakara. Flat landing was sick this year. Up next, uh, a very special presenter. 35 years of skillful technical riding, from props groundwork to gracing the cover of an early dig magazine. I met this guy on my walk this morning. The most humble person that I've met in such a long time. And he was riding Flatland just this morning on the Hastings Pier. Good dude, check him out. Yo, thanks for that introduction. 
there's at least three people who actually know who I am in here today. So, Flatlander of the motherfucking year. Can I get a ho ho? Yes. So I might be a little bit biased when it comes to Flatland. But to me, this is the most important award that is being given out tonight. Why? Because anybody who has ever picked up a BMX has rode some kind of Flatland. I don't care whether you ride street. I don't care whether you ride transitions. I don't care if you're the most die-hard dirt jumper there is. You have flatland in the core of your riding. And that's why this gives me so much pleasure and so much honour to present this award today. And with that said, let's check out the nominees. And the Flatlander of the year is Keo. Yeah, so obviously Japan is a long way to travel, 
So Keo is here tonight, but we do have a little video to show you of him receiving something. Get loud for Kiyo Hayakawa right there. Dude, uh, flat landing is so in Did I say flat landing? Flat land is so insane right now. And James, I gotta say, when I met you earlier, you were like, I don't have anything prepared. But what James said was true. We've all ridden Flatland. He's 100% right. Because when we start riding, that's where we start. We start on the flat grounds. James, you absolutely killed it with that speech. I know that you were nervous, but uh, a humble man just getting it done up here on this Nora Cup stage. Uh, thank you so much, James White. And one more time for Kiyo Hayakawa. I had to do the commentary for the X Games in Japan for the Flatland event. I'm a dirt jumper from Pennsylvania. What do I know about Flatland? I just said yes. I reached out to every Flatlander that was in the event, and each one of those guys had a conversation with me that went on longer than an hour. They were so excited that it was back in the X Games. They were so excited that they were going to be back on the world stage. And those guys are some of the coolest motherfuckers you could ever hope to meet. One more time for Flatland. One more time for Kiyo Hayakara. Yeah, what's up, Japan in the house tonight? Yeah, what's up, Rim? I see you. I see you. <laughs> Um, before we get into this next award, it, <laughs> the next award is Trail Rider of the Year. If we could, <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, if, no, 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 no. If we could get some security on Ricky Rat, I don't know where he's at right now, but if we get some security on Ricky Rat from the Sidley Woods, that would be appreciated before things pop off. Oh, there he is right here. Um, now I feel awkward, but uh, Trail Rider of the Year presenter. Hey, Ricky, anything you want to say? Literally, get to the trails and dig every single day. If you want it, you got to earn it. All you other guys with the pegs on, literally, leave it out and just get on with it. Come on, mate. UK legend Ricky Rat right there from the Sidley Trails. All right, okay, let's get it going. All right, Trail Rider of the Year presenter, who we got? You know this guy. You like this guy. You heard me talk about... Hey, there he is. Let's go. I just, yeah, I just. This is actually really fucking weird standing up here when you're not very drunk. Um, <laughs> I'm sure that no one actually wants to listen to me ramble on. I um, did start riding trails about, well, it feels like 40 years ago, but it was about 30 years ago. And it, it's come on leaps and bounds. All these dudes that are nominated tonight are amazing. I wish my body would still allow me to ride um, a little more often, but it doesn't. So I'm not taking my fucking clothes off. Uh, it's not that kind of party. It's not that kind of, I, I only do, oh, fuck it. No, I'm not taking my clothes off, I'm sorry. None of you have paid enough. 
None of you have paid enough. Right, run VT before I get naked. open this and the winner is Jay Hamilton <laughs> fuck off Ricky it's not you some of the rest of that can not Jay Fucking hell, there's about two people in the room who know who I am. This is fucking nuts. I'm a 42-year-old single father. <laughs> I'd like to dedicate this to uh, Dan at Brighouse, Tom at Staffs, Bob at ALV, uh, fucking Woodward or Brothers. Um, just... Jimmy at Leverhead, Wisley, all the spots in England, Sidley, you know, we don't get paid, we don't get sponsored, but we got the best scene in the world, I truly believe it, BMX rules, yo.
Thank God that Jay won that. I don't want to even know what was going to happen if Jay didn't win that with Ricky Rat burning this place to the ground. So thank goodness that Jay won that. One more time for Jay Hamilton right there. Trail Rider of the Year. Big shout out to Nathan Hallahan, Pittsburgh local right there, 16 years of old, but you'll probably see him up on this stage a little bit later on in his life, but thank God that Jay won that, man. Woo! I don't even want to know what kind of chaos was going to ensue with Ricky Rat. so good, good for you, Jay. What's next? We got two awards left. Two Nora Cups to hand out. What could possibly be left? Jay, how am I sounding? Sounding good? Good? All right. Everyone still with me tonight? We got some people taking selfies. What's up? We got a big selfie going on over here. We got... <laughs> What's up, Jordan? Jordan's looking good right now in rare form. What's up, Peter Adam? Not to be confused with Ricky. Everyone doing okay in the crowd tonight? Everyone doing okay in the crowd tonight? All right. Final two Nora Cups coming up. Next up, video part of the year. All right, I like your enthusiasm. Video part of the year presenter. One of my best friends in this damn industry, a guy I met at the Christmas Classic in 1997 when we were both cutting our teeth as dirt jumpers on the scene. He got sponsored by one brand, I got sponsored by another. Our, our careers took a different path. He went on to film some of the heaviest video parts of the era you guys know who i'm talking about roll the video here we go What's up, Hastings? All right, guys. Before I go into the little spiel that I have written on this piece of paper, I have a couple questions. First of all, how many of y'all ride street out there? Let's hear it. Who rides street? All right. Now, who films? Who films, whether it's for a video, for your Instagram? Who films? Let me hear you. All right. So here's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to need a moment of silence, not for y'all, but for the man who rides around with a 50-pound camera bag on his back and sits in the grass for four hours while your ass tries some tech trick. Let's hear it for the filmers out there. All right. Thank you for that appreciation for all the guys holding the cameras. And I'm going to ask for a little bit, little bit of volume while I, while I go on my spiel. So, all right. A BMX video part is a lot more than a collection of bike tricks. First, a BMX part is pure passion. Our love for BMX has us uncontrollably thinking about ways we can maneuver our bikes and bodies to express our artistic vision. All right? Being committed to the mission of a BMX video part means constant exploration, searching the globe in hopes of crossing paths with the perfect combination of rails, banks, storm dorms, electric boxes, whatever. If you can dream it, you can ride it. Yeah. 
A special bond occurs with those encouraging our BMX ambitions. A, a simple, you got that. Who's, who needs that sometimes? Or just a fucking, hey man, you got that. That can create such a special bond with anyone. And that bond between a filmer and a rider is like no other. So in the end, a video part becomes a journal of ideas, memories of the road, and inspiration for future BMXers everywhere <clears throat> to keep creating and searching and shredding. So thanks for listening to me. Without further ado, here's your nominees for video part of the year. Settle down out there. All right, this guy had my vote this year. It's raw, it's tech, and it's pure fucking bravery. Lewis Mills, get the fuck up here! Right. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. This is just as much as Benny's video of fucking his mime. Butch, I fucking did it. Anyways, Benny can't be here. Like I said, Benny fucking did this, as well as me. As well as the boys at home. Thank fuck I won a cup once. This will be the only one I reckon, but fucking thank you all of, all of you. Seriously, this is the fucking best moment ever. Let's fucking go. Fuck a flight tomorrow. Jesus fucking Christ. Let's go. Give me another beer. I want a shoey. Right now. Hang on. One more thing. Our BMX and everyone make these awards. They make us feel fucking special about ourselves. We wouldn't have these awards without the people that fucking do it. So, 
Cheers to the concept fucking make this happen and make us feel special. I finally fucking won one. Holy shit, let's go. Fuck you all, thank you. Yes, can You can't get me. acceptance speech ever? Yeah. The dude drank out of his shoe, threw it into the crowd. The shoe came back. One more time for Lewis Mills. God damn. He said thank you to RBMX for making us all feel special. But I think that video part... <laughs> really made us all feel special. The, the hard work and the determination both between Lewis and his filmer just giving us all some solid content. Wow, how am I supposed to follow that? How am I supposed to follow Van Homan's speech right there? My God. All right. Should we do it one more time for Lewis Mills? I hate to say it, that was my vote too. That was my vote too. Yeah, crowd surfing dick down in a room full of men. You love to see it. Taking a chance. All right, okay. How are we going to top that? We have one more Nora Cup to give away. Video of the year. The presenter tonight, oh my gosh, how do I even do an intro for this man right here? He's a guy that's been behind a couple different Nora Cup videos. He's been bombing rails, big rails, since before a lot of you were even born. And he's still doing it today. At the age, coming in over the age of 50 years old, one of my favorite riders when I was starting out, street god, ramp god, could ride a little bit of everything, always put his heart and soul, puts his heart into the industry as well as his riding. Get loud for this guy right here. Jordan Welsh, Wales. 
Um, I've done this before, once, about 15 years ago. So, um, and I won, uh, I don't know what to say. I'm gonna just say the nominees are And the winner is Chocolate Truck. Thank you to everyone who voted for us, man. We appreciate the fuck out of this shit. Shout out to everyone who works a full-time job, rides spots, work after work, all that shit, drinks more beers than they actually ride, all that, you know what I mean? Shout out to all the boys back in Philly that couldn't make it out. Reef, Nikki B, John, B-Dub, Swift, anyone I forgot. Shout out to the city of Philadelphia for always providing. You know what I mean? Come on, let's go. <laughs> Oh my God, bro. Shout out to everyone who grew up riding a shitty ledge behind their local supermarket. That's all we ever were. And somehow we fucking made it here, motherfucker. Cellador, strange ways. Shout out to Fiend Animal. Everyone supports us. 
Yo, I know Matthew accepted the award, but like, if we can clap for anyone, it'd be for Matthew, because he fucking filmed it and edited it, man. Like, so everyone put their hands together for Matthew. He's a fucking important boy here, yeah? For Matthew, all day. You're the fucking man, dude. You deserve every fucking second of it. Yo, let's get fucked up. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, shit. That's some East Coast shit right there. Get loud one more time for Chocolate Truck. I can't believe these guys are here on the stage right now. Maddie. Maddie, that's what's up. Wow, dude, what's up? It's happening so fast, I can't believe this shit, dude. Yo, go Eagles! <laughs> they don't understand that, Maddie. I know, but Mr. Doyle, dude, congrats. Wow, wow. I know a lot of us grew up watching the animal videos we really like that east coast gritty style right there that's an extension right there the chocolate truck crew is what's up that's east coast bmx at its best right there look forward to you guys coming to pittsburgh next month chocolate truck chocolate truck chocolate truck what's up east coast all right all right all right, we're getting to the end of the evening. I want to give a big shout out to Colin White from 70s. Thank you, Joe Jarvis, for reminding me that today is his birthday. Much appreciated. Everyone get loud for Colin White right now. Because if we don't, Joe Jarvis is going to cause a stink. Okay, here we go, guys. <laughs> the evening's starting to get a little bit rowdy. Cups are in the air. The East Coast United States got the cup in the air right now. Hey, that's about it. That's about my time. A big thank you to all of our sponsors for putting this on tonight and allowing us to get together once again. A massive thank you to Battle. <laughs> I'm sorry. A big thank you to the Source BMX for putting this all on. Chocolate Truck, the party's going to be going all night long. Oh, and we're about to wrap it up. The last award for a guy that's not here tonight, the Legends Award, he's not able to be here tonight. New York City Shredder, Edwin De La Rosa? Can't be here tonight, but the award was presented to him at the Dawn of the Streets in New York City. And I mean, really, he is the Dawn of the Streets in New York City, so. Edwin De La Rosa, if you check your socials, you're the legend. So uh, again, a big thank you to Source, BMX, Monster Energy, Kink Cinema, Shadow, Odyssey Sunday, Tubalito? I don't need to say all the sponsors, but big shout out to all our sponsors, big shout out to the Source. I love you all, thank you for keeping a gray haired geezer like myself involved. Have a safe night tonight. I'm going to hand this over to Ryan Fudger. Good night. I guess he said it all. Thank you. Thank you. It's been like three years, so it feels really good tonight. So thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs>